right between us. For whom? I don't know. Nasty <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tilly was asking when they're going to get a pair. His wife has died. Come on. Oh, in a car crash in the outback. <laughs> in the Alps, was it? Was it? I, was, I don't know. He the lives, outback. <laughs> what was the outback? He lives in Australia now. You've though. not watched that DVD properly <laughs> to get that <laughs> transcribed. <laughs> transcribed. <laughs> On a scroll. Um, Tilly asks when they're going to get a pet, and that rope gets longer, and then mm. they get like further from the wall. Oh, that more was so tension. hard. Can you imagine doing that? Mary beat Danny. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> SJ goes, Till, please, please don't put me up, babe. When <laughs> SJ's trying to like bond with the younger uh... people, suddenly they're babe. <laughs> um, BB said, almost 40 years difference in age in this challenge. Mm-hmm. Thanks, big brother. Um, it's weird hearing BB refer to themselves as we, I've written. Do you remember mm, that? Because they, they normally call him he. Yeah, or I just think that normally it's like they will refer, refer to Big Brother in the third person. Mm. So like Big Brother will do this. Yeah. Like, don't worry, Big Brother has yeah. people here. But they were but like, the... he was like, don't worry, we've got people here. Uh, if you're yeah. in trouble, we'll send them in. Yeah, like there's more than one. Whereas the, when the housemates talk about Big Brother, they say like he, he him, like it's just one. But we know from BBUK, it's that not. Big Brother's non-binary. Even women can be Big Brother too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you try really hard, you can be Big Brother as well. <laughs> Ladies out there. And non-binary people, it's perfect. You can do either voice you want. <laughs> Anyone can God. be Big Brother. <laughs> Move on. Uh, it's... Did you notice the Big Brother voice came over? The proper Big Brother voice, like the yeah. the one you do a good impression of, asking worry, SJ, SJ if she needed help. Yes, that's and, when they said we. And you could hear the echo in the background, like it was actually his voice. It is the real Big Brother. No, but don't you think sometimes they dub him over? Whereas, mm, yeah, but that one, it was, it was actually BB. him there. Mm, it was, the little it booth. was the OG BB right there. <laughs> He's in a little phone booth next door. <laughs> Tilly was trying to coach SJ to step forward mm. because she was scared to fall. Mm. And Big I Brother's th- team had to pull SJ back I- I onto was, the edge. I was confused about who won because I thought <laughs> SJ won. Quite nice now. I, I think I did just... <laughs> I said, I'm going to go to Dan. So, yeah. did, so did Tilly win? He was yeah. like, of course. Oh uh, yeah, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that she was going to faint. SJ mm. did. So imagine S- SJ did faint and mm. fall head first. Yeah. I don't think that sand would... <laughs> help much do you all that yoga you think should be quite supple but no <laughs> <laughs> i think with that it was the heat as well mm. oh god wasn't it 40 degrees or something i don't know tilly this is when tilly set the new record for the most challenge wins mm. she goes even more than last season and big brother was like yeah mm. brenton goes she probably doesn't even work out about tilly mm. Dare they underestimate her? Or like, sort of like poo poo her abilities like she's that. It doesn't matter. Well, she's a lot better more than, you. than you. And she's a lot fitter than you and all. Tilly wears her challenge belt to bed and it has mm. her crystal in it. Mm. And the pain isn't real, it's all in your head. Mm. How will she get out Mitch? You ensure that the person up there has no choice but to vote him out. Mm. That's quite deep. Mm. And the noms were Brenton. Oh, she only got to nominate one person because it's the third person to oh, be on the chair. I was so confused. Me too. I was like, like where are the rest of them? And yeah, because was... Mitch and Christina were already nominated. Yeah, I've written, I'm confused. They just had a one hour scramble. Mm. Danny was coaching Brenton. Mm. You have to play it cool. Talk to. Who's that? It can't be. Pe- I've put... <laughs> it says Pepper. It's I've just not. put Pep Talk, so that must be what you. <laughs> you... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to something Mary, SJ and Sid basically Danny did tell Brenton Brenton's the people he work. needed to turn mm. they were Mary, SJ and Sid mm-hmm. Danny does have a good read on who's gonna who's yeah. undecided or who's tippable yeah definitely yeah just who's tippable I Tipping point. give him some chocolate and he's <laughs> <Yeah>. sorted <laughs> deal done SJ says to Danny that Brenton is as much of a threat as Mitch she said that he was the same strength as Mitch no, he isn't. And then Danny Dan says that she was switching. Yeah, there was a sort of a... It looked like mm. a done deal, and then SJ started to falter. Jess said, I am I want to keep Mitch, but I'm not telling you what to do. Oh, that old trick. Come on. <laughs> to Ari, yeah. <laughs> Mary and Sid seem okay with Mitch, I've written. Sid highlights that Dan's army is getting stronger. Mm. Sid wants to take Danny yeah. down, but I hope there's a lot of chocolate left in that yeah, crate. Yeah, Sid ain't got the the... the Strength or the n- n- nouse to do it, unfortunately. 
He doesn't. She... <laughs> what has Sid won? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Mary plans to ask Brenton if he's working with Danny, mm. but we don't get to see it. Mm. So, the, the eviction room. Not the donut shirt again over it. And Sonia, white hole neck. They didn't really make the most of this Walking Dead theme. Mitch, obviously being the size of me, I'm a threat. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Go on, what have you got? Sonia's digging around for why it's tough to be up against Brenton for Christina. Mm. She says he's a good friend with a smirk. Friend zoned. Yeah. Mitch benefits. pitches his strength to work for those people who aren't good at physical challenges. I could potentially help you to mm. go a bit further. Like a, a pit bull. Jess was arguing it's bad to bring back Brenton and Christina as a pair mm. and points to Tilly as a strong player in comps. It's a good job Jess Ooh. has gone because you don't want to target on Tilly. Mm. Sonia asks, or do we? No, do you? No, now? I just think it's weird that because Jess was anti Tilly, Tilly was anti Jess. So why is Tilly now? Why is Tilly with Marley and all that now? I think Tilly and Marley just get along. Just friends. Mm. Mm. God, why does Marley have to be so nice? <laughs> Boo. Thing is, Marley. Isn't particularly a strong player. Mm, I don't know. He's quite fit. He's Does won he a win? Few he win, he has won a couple by he? himself. With I don't pair, think so. yeah, in pairs he has. Uh, Sonia asks Christina if she would ever vote Brenton out, and vice versa. Mm. I can't remember what they said. Uh, the vote. Sonia calling the names like it's a doctor's surgery. Mm. <laughs> Marley, Mary. Ari said there aren't sides. We vote together to evict targets. I like that. Because that is what they do. We all stand <laughs> together. together. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> what is that? That's Feed uh, the, the Frog song by uh, Paul McCartney. <laughs> is it? That's my favourite uh, Paul McCartney song. That's my favourite song by anyone from the Beatles. Don't think that's a good tune. One thing is certain. It sounds like something you sing at school, though. Da, 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 da. We what all does it Feed the Birds? That's from Mary Poppins. It sounds like yeah. the same thing. I like. I really like that song, but I fucking hate the Beatles and I hate Paul McCartney. It's annoying, Fuck isn't he? you. Fucking thumb, <laughs> thumbs up. Fuck off. <laughs> so, what else happened? I Mitch got... cracking his neck. That's not a good thing to do when you're on the block. <laughs> like Coming for you. Terminator, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, I've got another Mitch related title. So many Mitch titles. A scratch you can't Mitch. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Why with all the Mitch titles? So unnecessary. <laughs> Blink and you Mitch it. No, nice. nice. <laughs> Just good. came up with that. Uh, I got the full vote here. I've written them all down. I have, so have I. Dan oh. voted for Mitchell. No, I did the full vote. Mm. I don't know why I've done this. Mm. There's no point. There's no point. <laughs> yeah, and also we're on a, a, we're timeline. On a timer. Um, yeah, overtime. Which has already gone off. Uh, anyway, the votes were Christina had none, Brenton got four, Mitch got eight. He went, that's all right, it happens. Clearly really annoyed, actually, but just mm. was trying to brush it off. Christina thanks Danny. He said, let's just stick mm. together now, hey? Mm. Always those, working. Those little bits at the <laughs> end. Working. Those little bits at the end where they just have, like, one or two lines. It's like, ooh, it's good, isn't it? Question, how did Delicious. Mitch fit all of those shirts into that tiny suitcase? He had, like, a carry-on suitcase that you take on Ryanair. Because he's only got two, three shirts with that different print and then shorts with the same print on. Cut from the same cloth, literally. I don't think he had the matching shorts. He did. Today. He had the donut that, shorts. That was that. Uh, no, that was oh. the drag race down under people. I sent you the picture saying it's the Mitch collection. Oh, I'm sure I wrote earlier he had the shorts. <laughs> Maybe did. I didn't watch Drag Race down under. In the taxi, he said <laughs> he'll bet he would bet that Tilly will win. She plays mm. the ditzy blonde really well, but mm. she's quite clever. Yeah, he's not wrong. Mm. I wouldn't mind seeing Tilly win. I want to. If, if he saw it like. Who would you find on freebie? Dan, Tilly, who else? It would also be good. SJ, maybe? I like SJ. Oh. Yeah, I like SJ. I'm more hot on SJ than you. Christine, all right, Christina. I think, to be honest, I think Christina's going to be a finalist. Yeah. I think she's got... She's got the grit. She's the got steel. something yeah. to, to take her further. I think She's like that Sophie from last exactly. year. But like ten she times gives me, be- She like gives me Sophie's Ten vibes. times better. Ten times more relatable. Ten times more likeable, in my opinion. But like apparently not as physical as Sophie because weren't Sophie some sort of sport person? Sophie didn't win that much. No, I guess God, not. God, the casting this year is so much better than last I was thinking year. That. It's like a different universe. Do you know what the good thing is? Those really boring people like mm. Chris, mm. Mitch won, Charlotte won. They're yeah. all gone. They're gone already. <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Oh, th- yeah. That- Oh god! Who? Okay, uh, that first guy went. I forgot what his name. Max. Was. Yeah. Oh god, he was. Awful. By the way, can we talk about Katie very briefly? Yeah. Why not? Katie, like likes girls, right? 
Did she? I think so. No, she was going out with that Max guy. In the past. Oh, all right. Well, maybe she likes girls and boys. So what I heard on the... Maybe. What I heard on Too Much Tully mm. today was Tully was talking to Jess. Mm. And she was like, everyone's saying, Spoiler. Katie <laughs> Katie and you had a thing, right? Like, oh, there was definitely more nah. than that. And Jess was like, no, no, no. I don't think so. Because Jess was single at the time. Jess is uh, gay, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. And now has a girlfriend, but didn't before she went okay. in. Okay. And then Tully was like, Katie's been trying to get me to, like, go out partying with her. Oh, yeah. And... Did I say Tilly or Tully? Tilly. I meant Tully. Right. Tully was like, Katie's mm-hmm. been trying to get me to go out partying with her. Right. And I was in wherever she lives. Hold on. I don't How know. can they go out partying? What about COVID? Yeah. There's the a fuck? lockdown now in Melbourne, but mm. there, wasn't, there wasn't before. But I think she's in Sydney. And Tully was in Sydney for mm. something that she right. was having to go for, to for work. Mm. And then she said, Katie was trying to get me to go out. But she didn't. She goes, because I knew it was going to be a big session because she was going out with a load of my lesbian friends. Right. And she's like, I just knew it was going to be one of those nights where I wouldn't make it to the thing the next day. And I thought, oh, that's mm. interesting. And mm. She said, like, Katie was with her lesbian friends. She's been trying to pitch to did Jess, like, mean, were you into each other? Did she mean, did Tully mean her lesbian friends? Because Tully was apparently lesbian yeah. before she fell for yeah. Drew. Yeah, she meant her own friends. Oh, yeah. Is Tully with a girl now? No. Who, is she with a boy? Single now. Single. Is she open? But she seems... Kevy Webby? To me, it sounds like she wants a man when she talks about her oh, single status. Oh, come on. Once you've been with Drew, what else are you going to do? <laughs> that's be reasonable. She's got an episode with Drew, actually. Once you've you been with Drew, what else are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so thirsty. I had a, actually had a sex dream about Jamie Dornan last night. Is that the guy from your calendar? <sighs> yeah. I don't know who he is. Oh, he's so fucking fit. I'll, show, <laughs> I'll send you a music video of him in. It's just basically him just posing. You know, uh, with his bum out on my, yeah, no, my screensaver. Yeah, I do know. Because I saw that picture on Twitter oh. and I went, isn't this the guy from your screensaver? He's so... Oh, my God. Anyway, never mind. Um, do you know that Mitch, <laughs> Mitch is actually six foot three? Is he? And he's only a little bit shorter than Marley. Oh. Yeah. He just looks wide. He was bullied at school for being overweight. Ooh. Which explains why he's absolutely tanked now. Um. Mitch said, this is from Tully's podcast, by the way, mm. he felt shithouse for pushing Gabe over the edge by nominating yeah, him. Yeah, poor Gabe. And he kept asking Big Brother if Gabe was okay. Aww. They you tried... should ask Big Brother that after your horrible podcast being nasty about him. Oh, the poor nefarious potato. <laughs> um, they, Mitch said they tried to get Charlotte back in the house. Why? Do I mean Charlotte? Which Charlotte? No, the other yeah, one. Yeah, no, I think Charlotte. The, the other twin? I think Charlotte. She went on the day. M- Gabe graciously bowed out of the competition right. oh, after yeah, Charlotte was yeah, evicted. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said the housemates pleaded with Big Brother to, to bring Charlotte back because yeah. Gabe had walked. Can you imagine that? I, get, I know. I get that. They like were the like... ha- also, like the housemates have got any say in that process. I, I, get, I see their point, though. It did seem a bit... Un- the timing was a bit off, but the housemate was a bit... Off well, offer. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Um, about the Walking Dead, mm. you know that the Walking Dead room was the panic room, wasn't it? Mm. Which is not too too big, right? Oh, yeah. They were only let out to shower and pee, mm. but if they needed to use the bathroom, mm. Big Brother would clear the area and no one was allowed to talk to them. Oh. And they were also allowed out to um, wash their dishes, <laughs> but again, no one was allowed to talk to them while they were using the oh. kitchen. They had to. They had a microwave, which was what they could do use to prepare their food, and mm. they just ate tuna and spinach and sweet potato and rice bowls. Oh, yeah, fascinating. Mm. <laughs> Charlotte and Mitch were inseparable, apparently. The new Charlotte, not the old Charlotte. Oh right, I would imagine that new Charlotte needs to go as well. She's just a vote for evil and does nothing. Has no personality. For evil, oh, crikey. Yeah, for evil. That's right. Um, and Molly and Mitch used to have showers together. Hmm. And then Tully was like, were they like naked showers? Mm. He goes, one of us was naked. Oh. Oh. Mm. Him. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he has a tattoo on his right nut mm. of one of his friend's oh. initials. Ouch. And then Tully feels there's too much contact with the outside world. That's where I stopped writing notes. What contact with the outside world? You know, like they get messages oh, left, messages. right and centre. And Tully oh, yeah. was like, we the didn't birds. get that back in my day, you know. Yeah. The mm. birds. <laughs> Carabigeon. You know, those emus passing on notes from the outside world. <laughs> Oh, Tully, back in your day was a different world. Just speak to Alfie Sheldon about that. <laughs> I have said that. I do want to watch that season again with Jack, because that was such I want a good f- I never finished it. I want to finish I it. I knows why he didn't finish it. That was just so BBUK. It was unreal. It was so good. Alfie don't rate that season either. 
I'll go. I do. That though. Is I do. I do. Tim is like Tim is up there on the uh, what's it called? What's the that Legends thing called? Podium. What's the Mount Rushmore?